Genetically modified sugar beets are engineered to resist the effect of glyphosate. Glyphosate is a herbicide that was developed by Monsanto. Monsanto market the herbicide as Roundup. These genetically modified sugar beets contain a biosynthetic gene that protect it from glyphosate when it is applied to large crops to control weeds. It is important to eliminate weeds in sugar beet fields because they compete with the crop for water, nutrients, and light. Glyphosate controls the weeds without harming the crop. Health Canada have stated that sugar from glyphosate tolerant sugar beet lines do not raise concerns related to safety. They have concluded that these sugar beet lines are as safe and nutritious as sugar from current commercial sugar beet varieties. In Canada, sugar beets are grown in Alberta, British Columbia, Quebec, and Ontario for Rogers Sugar and Atlantic Incorporated, where it is sent to the United States. In 2005, the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, deregulated the sugar beets that contain the Monsanto gene after it conducted an environmental assessment that concludes that the genetically modified sugar beets are highly unlikely to become a plant pest. The USDA also approved the human and animal consumption of glyphosate-resistant sugar beets. However, a federal judge banned any further planting of genetically engineered sugar beets in 2010. The United States judge concluded that the USDA should have done more research into the consequences. An environmental impact statement was ordered by the judge. This statement usually takes years to complete and would have genetically modified sugar beets out of production till 2012. Finally, the Agriculture Department said it would allow U.S. farmers to plant the glyphosate-resistant sugar beets to avoid a shortage of sugar. The shortage was expected since over half of the nation's sugar comes from genetically modified sugar beets. There is a substantial economic benefit that comes from growing glyphosate-resistant sugar beets, as opposed to normal sugar beets. A study has shown that cost saving per hectare was around $100. Also, less mulch seeding and tillage could be applied. Therefore, this practice is very beneficial economically for seed farmers and Monsanto. The agriculture industry benefits as does society because more jobs are created due to the local manufacturing of the nation's sugar. The use of herbicide-resistant sugar beets is ecologically friendly and economical. A principal issue with the genetically modified sugar beets is that they are wind pollinated and there is a large chance that the pollen from the genetically modified sugar beets could contaminate table beets and chard. Also, the Canadian Biotechnology Action Network argues that the increased use of GM herbicide tolerant crops will speed up the development of herbicide resistant weeds, leading to serious chemical management issues. The overexposure of pesticides is harmful for human health. There have been no studies showing that genetically modified sugar beets pose any health risks. However, activists are concerned that there have not been enough scientific trials to safely say that herbicide-resistant sugar beets are safe for human consumption. The study that was done showed that DNA survived in the stomach, but no further studies were done. After researching the topic, I believe and recommend that genetically modified beets should continue to be produced as the risks that have been presented aren't backed up by evidence. The wind pollination that could also affect chard and table beet is not an eminent threat. The sugar beet industry recommends that table beet and chard crops be six miles away from sugar beet crops to ensure isolation and no contamination. If this isolation was practiced in all beet farms, then the risk would be eliminated. As for the health risks attributed to human consumption, there have been no evidence that genetically modified beets pose a risk. To answer any concerns, the USDA and Health Canada have to conduct studies to prove or disprove that herbicide-resistant sugar beets are a potential health risk. This is crucial since glyphosate has been linked to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Finally, I believe that sugar beets are safe for human consumption, but knowing that other genetically modified foods have led to many anomalies like precancerous cell growth and damaged immune systems, it is important that more studies concerning human consumption of genetically modified beets are conducted.